Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so when dealing with hair loss, just be careful out there. That's that kind of whole ethos, that kind of subject I want to tackle today and in today's clip. So since May of this year, I have been uh, dealing with, I'm not going to say struggle or battle, because I think for the amount of hair I've got, I'm not going to use those words, because I appreciate the amount of hair I have got, um, and I absolutely know that a lot of people out there, men and women, struggle with a lot less hair than me. I have fine hair, but I have a lot of it. For me, May of this year, I noticed a this sort of area here, I've noticed a lot of the density change um, and I have almost like a triangular sort of aspect area in here. I've, I've got it covered up a little bit because I've used a spray product and I've just sort of combed it back and I've done it up into like a top knot sort of style here in the background. But my areas of concern are here, which I've lost quite a lot of hair, but I've still got hair in there. As you'll see, my hairline is intact. I've got a little bit of a, an area in here and I've got a bit of a sort of a, a peak just up in here. But there's still hair there, but it's just finer. Now, the density changed a lot in here. Um, and I've got it masked quite well because you wouldn't necessarily even know here. And this is why I was quite shocked and quite surprised um, about the next topic which we're going to be talking about. So I have been using the Neoxin uh, Night Density um, in the evenings, uh, looking after my hairline. Um, this one here, so amazing product. If you want to have a look at that product, I will attach it at the end. A really, really great product and I absolutely recommend it. And then in the daytime, I have been using the anti-hair loss serum by Neoxin as well. That is what's helped me um, really thicken up my hairline, I believe, in the last six weeks. I'm starting to see those little tiny hairs coming through as well. But I thought that I would branch out and I thought that I would um, try some to, to get some professional advice on what I can use. Um, my subscribers will know that I have reviewed a lot of products for trying to grow thicker, fuller hair and really looking after that optimum and, and gaining that optimum scalp environment for the most fullest, thickest head of hair. So I done a bit of research and I came across the Belgravia Center. Now, the Belgravia Center claim that they are the world's leading sort of hair loss clinic and um, they do all these amazing, great things on regaining people's hair. Now, the pictures on their website are really quite extraordinary. Oh, that was not the camera what just went past, but I don't know why, do excuse me? <laughs> I don't know what that was. But anyway, I'm going back to what I was saying. So the Belgravia Centre say, um, some um, they, they claim some really great statements that they can help um, people with hair loss, men and women. Um, and they have a lot of amazing images on uh, being able to regrow and being able to help people gain a lot of their hair back. Of course, through the products I understand as minoxidil in like a foam or a cream. There is also uh, a, a tablet, which I believe is finasteride. Um, now, my hair is not at the point where I would even look at those ingredients, um, ingredients, products at all. I say um, a loss area here. Back in 2015, I had a patch area, not here, up here, of loss in here. And when I'm stressed, I do tend to get, and I, when I say I don't just mean sort of stress like you've had a bad day. I mean, when I go through a period of stress from, um, I manage some health conditions and I've, I've had quite a few operations um, in the last five years, um, those type of stresses in our life. I lost my nan, my world, um, a year ago. Um, those type of stresses in our lives, those real life turning events upside down. Um, that type of stress. Um, that's when my hair really almost seems to let go, but it, it does come back. It gets itself back with the products and things I use um, to a much more better uh, state. And I can I can absolutely sit here and say that, that I got through in 2015. Um, the hair grew back through, not as thick as it was, but it grew back through, which I'm very thankful for. Um, and this is slowly starting to come back now. I can already tell from when I've done a previous clip, this is looking much thicker. Well, anyway, I had a look at the Belgravia Center. I filled out their online kind of sub submission for me to be able to have an e-consultation. Uh, I understand through Zoom it would have been. Um, now, I quickly put the details through. Now, I about 20 minutes later, I received a phone call. Um, I would say quite pushy. I would say quite pushy. Um, had a bit of a discussion. Now, what I put through online um, was my personal details, um, where I was sort of with hair in terms of loss, what was happening, happening, medications, general health, that type of thing. 
Then after submitting that, um, I didn't submit pictures, first of all. I didn't submit pictures. Um, and then when they called me, she, the lady then requested over the phone that I, um, I emailed her some pictures. So I took a picture of my right, uh, my left, and the top of my head. She was very forceful that she wanted a picture of the top of my head, um, even though I've not noticed any difference back here. Sometimes I think I can feel a little bit of a, a lesser when I look in the mirror in one thing or another at the moment, but it's improving with the products I'm using. It really is. Um, so anyway, I sent the pictures off, and within five minutes, and I don't even think it was five minutes, literally, as soon as I clicked send, about two minutes, um, my phone rang, and I answered the phone, and it was the, I think it was a representative of the Belgravia Centre, um, very salesy, very, very driven, very wanting to get me, um, seen by, uh, a trichologist, which is a, a specialist in the hair and the scalp, very, very quickly, um, and you know what? I didn't even, this lady who I spoke to was the sales representative, I understand, um, or a coordinator. She wasn't a trichologist. She wasn't a specialist. I'm looking at those pictures and I am shocked that it's almost, I feel, I understand the Belgravia Centre is, is an amazing sort of uh, system, is an amazing centre and I'm, they have amazing success stories. But what I am infuriated at, by the way, is that I mean, all my subscribers will know, I mean, this is my hair. This is what I'm dealing with. I've got a top knot back here. I've not got any. I'm just going to do this now, actually. So this is my hair, okay? And as you can kind of see, I've got fine hair, but I've got, it's quite it's quite full. I've got a lot of fine hair. You'll see that I'm a bit more opening up here. This is my issue in here. But as you can see, my hairline is here. It's just thinned out a lot to about here this area here, but it's grown back through already, okay, so my hair, I'm quite pleased with how much hair I've got, and within two minutes, which I'm really still surprised at, she diagnosed me with male pattern baldness, androidic alopecia, and I sort of, I said straight away, excuse me? The amount of hair I've got, she said, yes, I can already tell that you've started receding, and I can tell from the parting on your head um, that you've got a lot less density. It's like, excuse me, I have always had, on the fine side hair, always, always, I have had an operation back in no, uh, November uh, 2017, another operation in July 2018, another operation in 2020, um, and then another operation, huge operation in 2021. Throughout those events, I've always lost a load of hair. It has come back. My hair I'm quite proud of. I've got a lot of styles on my channel, which I'm quite proud of. I am a very well out together. Uh, I like to class myself as a gentleman. Um, I like all of that. And do you know what? I look after myself. This is an area at the moment. It's here. It's not all over my head. But in seconds, she was quick enough to diagnose me, apparently, with male pattern related and baldness. And that is why my friends, my subscribers, I tell you, if you are losing hair, if you are going through hair loss, if you have pattern related thinning, whether you're a lady sat here watching this or a man sat here watching this, first things first, you are you. You are an incredible individual. There is nobody out there but you, okay? You are unique. So that makes you incredible. If you have got the thinnest, thinnest, finest see-through hair, for a lady with the right products and right know-how, you can still look glamorous, you can still look amazing, whatever you want to call it. Sexy, good looking, you can have amazing hair. If you're a guy sat here watching this and you've got the finest, quite a receding hairline, but you've still got hair, it can still look really, really cool. You can still rock an amazing style and you can still be confident with the right know-how, tips, products, tools. I find it disturbing that with the images I sent and the amount of hair I have got, that somebody categorically can turn around and say, I mean, my hair hasn't changed in terms of density all around here. It's literally this area here, okay? This area here. Sometimes I think I've lost the density a little bit, but it's getting thicker. Back in May when I was noticing the hair loss, yes, absolutely. It was almost like my hair was shedding crazily, but it's come back through thicker. These products are working amazing. They're not a miracle cure. They are not notified as a cure for hair loss. They are simply helping me grow back full of thicker hair, and I ultimately recommend them. So I am disturbed by the fact that actually, with somebody looking at my pictures, two minutes, that somebody can say you've got androidic alopecia. Okay, could it not be stress? Could it not be something else which is happening? How do you know? You've not done a blood test on me. You've not done any type of um, blood work or test. You've not even examined my scalp. Um, 
And I don't know about you, but if you've got finer hair and you take a picture sometimes on a camera, the shine of the picture and your scalp and your hair, it can make... I mean, I've got a bright light in front of me now for doing my channel, and it sometimes shines through to my scalp. It makes my appearance, my complexion, look almost as if I've got a product on. I haven't. It's just shiny. I've got sometimes oily skin. It shines. So sometimes it does that in my scalp. It makes it look a bit finer than what it actually is. But I've refused to accept that actually with the hair I've got now, and I actually think it's a bit of a Mickey take to think that actually you're diagnosing me with that, when there are some of my friends, some of my family members have got less hair than me, and I wouldn't even class them as having that, because they've always had that type of hair. And I was trying to put this across to the person I was speaking with, but it was very much driven, very salesy, no, 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 we need to get you in, we need to get you started on a treatment straight away, finasteride and minoxidil. There is no way that I would start on minoxidil and finasteride straight away with the health problems number one I've got. I would not want to be using those products. I know they're recommended as uh, the best, sometimes the best product for men's related pattern hair loss, but with the amount of health problems I've had, with what I've gone through, medications and things I take, with the amount of hair I've got now, thank you very much, but no thank you, would I actually be saying that I would be signing up to their program? In fact, actually, it was very salesy. It was very much like you must have this appointment to be able to hold on to your hair. And to be honest, if somebody suffered with stress or anxiety, I think they would almost push them over the edge into a place in a very, very dark place. Because you know what? I found it very much preying on someone's vulnerability if they were feeling quite vulnerable, quite anxious about losing their hair. For any of us, it is a horrible experience to note that you are losing your hair and it's coming out more and more and more. Because of course our hair has the power to make us feel confident on top of the world. It is our kind of it's our it's our framing feature almost, our character, men and women. And you know what? I find that sickening and awful. So my subscribers, my friends, and everybody watching this. Just be careful when you're dealing with hair loss, when you're noticing more hair loss, just be careful. There are so many claims online that, and, and it's having that realistic expectation as well, because if you've lost a lot of your hair, they say that, um, and this is a statistic I come across a lot, that before you've noticed your hair, it's almost like that you've lost, before you've noticed your hair loss or your hair thinning or an area of your hair getting thinner, you've already lost 50% of your hair or up to 30 to 50% of your hair, I believe. There is not a product in this world which overnight will grow your hair back. Okay, there are shampoos and things out there, which I've come across claims, I'm not going to mention them, but I've come across claims that actually in two weeks the person has grown their hair back in the reviews. That is rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. It takes such a long length of time for thinning to happen. Not in, not in all cases, but usually it is months, years, where the hair, the scalp thins. Okay, if it's a sudden loss, that's something different, that could be health-wise, then that needs addressing with a family GP, with a medical professional. But in terms of thinning, in terms of pattern-related thinning for men and women, that happens over a long period of time. Not some, some people, it's quicker, but usually it's a fair amount of time which you've got time to address it. I would always say whilst you've got hair, act upon it. Prevention is much more better than cure. But what I refuse to accept is that there are so many claims online that you can cure it, you can do this, use this product and it will grow your hair back. Okay, the Belgravia Centre, they're world renowned, I think. World renowned, yes, but if I, if people get an experience like how I got, and I was just looking for suggestions, I'm a little bit of help, I don't want to use minoxidil, I don't want to use an asteroid, um, my hair is coming back through with these two amazing products. There is another caffeine based product um, I like to use as well, um, very well known, and there is another serum type product which we'll be reviewing soon, that's how I look after my hairline, and I'm seeing results, we're at the six week coming into seven week mark uh, very shortly, and, and it's working, it's great, it's working for me. I am not now ready to turn around and say, I have got female, um, I, I hope not, <laughs> female pattern related thinning, male related pattern thinning, um, because that is just, I, I just, I, I just think that's silly. Some people might be sat there thinking, yeah, you've got it. Okay, that's fine. That's an opinion. Not right now, thank you very much. I've got far too much hair for me to be able to turn around and say that. And actually, on my channel, I, act, I would feel, I would feel horrible to say that to people watching this who've got so much less hair to think actually, oh no, I'm going through hair loss, I've been diagnosed with this, I'm using monoxidil, I'm using finasteroid, but there are some people out there who don't want to do that, number one, they want to own it, they don't want to do anything about it, that is perfectly fine as well, that is perfectly fine. But what I don't want to be putting out there is that, oh actually, that they've got a huge problem going on. 
Well, actually, somebody else could have a lot less hair, and they may not even think they've got it even. They may not even have it. So just think, be careful out there. There are so many people, so many companies, so many products ready to jump on the bandwagon out there when you're going through an experience. And of course, you're vulnerable when you're going through uh, hair-related issues as well because you want a quick fix. But it's that realistic expectation that there is no quick fix. It is the changes in diet. It is the changes of stress. It's addressing potential medical issues in the background. It's then using the right products. It's then educating yourself. It's then using the right hair care. It's then how we treat our hair. All of these things, what we eat, how we conduct ourselves in life with um, sort of smoking, alcohol, one thing or another, a lifetime moderation, perfectly fine. In excess, you can possibly affect your hair growth. But to be honest with you, there is so much out there. Just be careful. Do your research. And if you're looking at trying supplements or products, then number one, always a great place to start is your family doctor, a GP. Next, a pharmacist. And then if you're using products and things and you're not quite sure, chat to your hairdresser. Because ultimately, who sees the top of your head usually other than your barber, your hairdresser, or one of many people, many few people, sorry. So have a chat with them, have a chat with a medical professional and start there. Don't start online on the internet, okay? And always use reputable products, reputable brands. Never ever, if it's if it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. In fact, it is, to be quite honest with you. I hope that helps. Um, I wasn't impressed with the Belgravia Centre. I certainly was not impressed that they were ready to hand out a diagnosis of male pattern baldness, androlic alopecia, with this amount of hair, um, with the symptoms I've got. And I've told them all about the stress events which I've had in my life. Um, and still going through it, to be quite honest with you. Um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to discuss with you. So I hope that helps. Um, I really wanted to get that off my chest. I really wanted to bring that to my channel. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for being here. If you do want to ask a question, if you want to know anything about what I've been doing or um, what I've been trying, please do so. and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Thank you very much for being here. God bless. Take great care. I'm wishing you a healthy, full head of luscious hair. And I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.